Good morning. Hope you're having a great weekend, a great Saturday. Uh, as you spend some, get some time off, hopefully you're able to kick back a little bit. Today, we're going to be talking about a very uh, not so popular subject. It's called brokenness. Brokenness. Now, no one actually wants to sign up and be broken, but we're going to see today the fruit, the reward that comes out of brokenness. Let's look to the Lord. Father, we thank you for this time and pray now as we open your word that you show us your purposes behind it, behind brokenness and how it is good for us, O oh Lord. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the book of Job, chapter 23, verse 10, reads like this. It says, but he knows the way I take. When he has tested me, I shall come forth as goal. You know, while the book of Job, of course, we know about the trials and um, that he went through and challenges. And if you read the very beginning of the book, we know, of course, it starts out, this whole thing starts out as about a conversation between God and Satan, you know. But even in that, there were things that God used that time while Job, while he was allowing Job to go through here, but there were some things that he corrected in Job's life. As a matter of fact, these are things that he wasn't even aware of that were going on in his life, and he only found out about them uh, after he was going through this period of brokenness. Brokenness, you might say, is a part of God's toolbox. It's in his toolbox. Neither one of us are exempt from being broken. It's a necessity. You might say it's in that curriculum of life like we were talking about earlier this week. Uh, brokenness is one of those things that God takes us through in order, uh, again, to get the best out of us. If you think about it, um, as we are reading here in our devotional time, um, Think about something that, you know, this particular trial or challenge or uh, that just keeps coming up in your life repeatedly. I thought about that myself as I was going through a preparation here, and there is something that continues to come up. And I now understand there's something um, that, that, that brings about some, you know, certainly some discomfort and pain. Um, but that God is trying to show me something in it. And I'm being very prayerful on what it is because I, I, I want it, you know, to go in the right way, if you will, be corrected. And uh, so that I won't have to continue to repeat it, if you will. But God uses this brokenness not just to, you know, again, to go through the motions. It's for purposes. It's for purpose. And it's for purposes of, of bringing us up. It's for purposes of, of, us, of, um, of um, us becoming who he wants us to be. Because, you know, he is in the middle of a work. This work, uh, Paul refers to in Philippians 1 and 6, says, he who hath begun a good work in you will continue it until the day of, day of Christ. Part of that work, brokenness is involved in it. And he's using that tool again to bring about that uh, great, that end product, if you will, the end product. And for us, one of the things that Job sees here is that he found out in his brokenness, hey, this is wrong in my life. Now, again, we know Job, if you look at his background, top businessman and, and uh, uh, you know, leader in the community uh, and all these things, well known, you know, um, uh, certainly did well for himself and, and uh, 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 was renowned, okay, name was renowned. People came to him for consulting and everything like this. But there were things that he discovered when God had broken down. The very verse that we just read, 23 and 10, it says uh, that when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. 
when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. See, he couldn't come forth as gold had he not been broken down. He understands that there's some things within himself that only God can break up and because he didn't even know that they were there. Okay, there are things going on in our life that we're not aware of that are contrary to the things of God. That's why God said, come as you are. We cannot clean ourselves up for God. God said, come as you are, but he does the cleaning. But, you know, talking about brokenness here and knowing that um, it's for our good. Now, I know you might say, you, you know, again, like I said, it's not very popular. We don't like the uh, pain that comes about because in some cases there are is you know emotional um, uh, pain and, and, and discomfort that comes with it but again it's for our good you know as parents you know sometimes uh, you, you don't just necessarily like to beat your child uh, but you knew it was going to bring about something good later on it may cause the pain right now but you knew that it was to be used as a deterrent for future behavior. And that's the same way with God. As a matter of fact, he says in 5 and 18, you know, sometimes we think, oh, you know, this brokenness, I'm not going to be put back. You know, you know, we, we don't like to imagine ourselves broken down like this. Well, I want to share with you, no matter how hard the fall is, whether it be financially, emotionally, mentally, whatever it may be, Job 5 and 18 says, For he bruises, but he binds up. He wounds, but his hands make whole. No matter how hard or, you know, that rod get put on us or, you know, the brokenness, God is able to put us back together. So keep that in mind whenever God is using that tool on you is that he's going to put you back together and not just put you back together but as job says you shall come forth as pure gold let's look to the lord lord thank you that you love love us so much that you desire the best for us and you will use whatever tool necessary in order to bring it about we thank you lord how you use brokenness to bring about goodness in our life. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us and have a blessed day.